Hey, welcome in everybody. Um, in this video, I wanted to show you how I fancied up my, my Schoology page. And you may already know how to do this. Maybe I'm slow to the party, but I found out that you can add a GIF image to your Schoology course card. So I wanted to show you how I created the, my course card to make it animated, not the banner. That's a whole different ball game. But for the course card, when you go up to courses and you see all the different like students, classes there, yours kind of st stands out a little bit because it's a little bit animated. So it kind of grabs some attention. And I'm always trying to outdo everybody. So what I've done is I use Canva. So Canva is something that I recently discovered at the beginning of the year. And I, I totally love it. I don't get paid by Canva at all. I don't work for them. I don't get any kind of special benefits, but if you go to canva.com, maybe your district has Canva that you can use. If not, you can go up to the plans and pricing here and we can compare pricing. So you can, I know it's, it's kind of expensive, but as a, for educators and students, right? Teachers and schools, teachers, you get a hundred percent free um, use of Canva. All you gotta do is get verified. So you can use it, your students can use it, and you'll have all the, the awesome cool benefits of Canva. So let me show you what you can do with Canva. So what I did is I'm gonna go to create a design and I'm gonna search for a Schoology. And I'm in all caps, probably not the coolest thing to do. I'm gonna, cause I'm used to AutoCAD. But anyway, I'm gonna go to Schoology course card It'll give you some, some templates that you can use here. And you can kind of scroll through ones that others have already created. So if you want to kind of start with one of theirs and then just kind of modify it to get it to what you like, you can totally do that. Or you can even, you can start from scratch, which is kind of what I'm going to do. So I want to kind of show you how to kind of go about really quickly and create a, a, a course card. You can get lost in this, kind of like on YouTube, when you start with something, you, you can, like three days later, you're you're still like, oh my gosh, where'd the time go? But anyway, I'm gonna start with a, ba a background. So if you just kind of go up here, I don't wanna look for a template, I'm gonna go to elements, and I'm gonna look for, let's say I wanna look for a night background. You can, and then you can see the graphics. I'm gonna click on see all. You can get all different kind of variations of what you can use, what you like. Scroll through it. You know, like I said, you can scroll through these. There's so many options. Um, the ones with the, the kind of graduation cap, that's for the education version. Which, like I said, if you're an educator, you can get these totally free. So I don't want to spend too much time on this. I'm just going to kind of randomly pick one. Let's pick this one here, kind of drag it in. So I can kind of move it up to the top and click these little side bars here and stretch it out to fit your, your kind of space there. Even if it goes past it, that's okay too. So there's like our background. Now you can add some text. So you can either add some of these that they already have, these styles that they already have kind of listed. Like I said, you can kind of go through there and kind of see what those do, but I just like to click on add a text box. And then I'm gonna, for here, I'm just gonna type in the name of my, my class or my course. So let's say engineering, if I can spell correctly, engineering design two. And then you can change the size of this by up here and click the plus up here to increase your font size. You can change, your font, so there's there is so many different fonts. You can go through here and kind of find one that you like. I know we all want to be fancy, but I try to find one that's, number one, that's kind of fancy, but number two is easy for the students to read so they can easily see what kind of, what kind of, what class they're looking at. So I, I just picked this. Allegria Sans SC Black, like I said, and then you can you can right click on it and go to um, 
hold on, you can right, wait, 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 right click it, you can go to align the page. So if you wanna make it in the center or the middle, it's already in the center, so that's grayed out. So you can click the middle. I try to move it where it's about somewhere in this area. If you put it up to the, too close to the top, it's not gonna show up whenever they're looking at their all their courses. And then I try to make this one as kind of big as possible to fit the whole like width of this kind of area here. So you can put your class name, because I'm in high school, I have different class periods. So there's that. I'm gonna go up to make another text box. Here I would put my class period. So this might be um, so my design two classes, a two class period block, so they're third and fourth. I don't really like that number three there, but looks like three quarters instead of three fourths. Let me change this. Let me change this font here. Um, let me find one I like, something simple. Something simple, sunborn. Any ones you see with the little crown, that's for the, like the, uh, the paid version, which as a teacher, you would get that, you would get all these free. Uh, okay, let's go with this one. I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to take up too much of your time here. So you can get lost in kind of looking for all these different fonts that you like. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna right click. Um, you can spell check, change the direction, all these different things. You can add emojis to it. Just gonna kind of move it around here like so. And then the cool thing about this is you can, if you don't like your font to be white, I can go up where the A is and check, change your text color. These are the, the colors that are in your, your background photo. So you can use those. You can change these to whatever you like. So yellow or kind of pink color, gray. You can, like I said, you can get totally carried away with these, but I'm just gonna leave it white here. And then you can also add some effects to it. So you can add shadows, lift, you can make it hollow, splice, echo, all these different, you can make it curved if you want and kind of change the curve here. Like so, I'm just gonna leave mine flat. I'm gonna put like a, maybe a little shadow. You can also change the your shadow color here if you want it to be a different color, whatever you like, you can get lost in the in the options. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, class period, you can change position. So if you want the top, you can want it the bottom, the middle. Like I said, I wouldn't try to put it too far at the top or the bottom because you won't be able to see it. I'll try to put it right about this area here. All right, so another thing you can do is if I click on my, my text here, I can animate this. So if you click on the animate, you can make it kind of rise up, you can pan it, you can kind of hover your mouse over these different options, you can kind of see what they do. So let's say I wanted to bring it in, typewriter, ascend. Let's say I want it to ascend like this. I'm like gonna click it. And if you want it to like animate when it first comes in, when it goes out or both, you can change the speed of your uh, this little animation here. Um, if you want the whole, the writing style to be, if you want the word or the line, if you have you know more than one words on a line, you can do the whole line or just that one word. You can change the direction if you want it to kind of rise up, if you want it to kind of lower it down. All these different kind of cool things you can do. So let's say I want it to ascend, then I can also change, click on this, the period and you can have it doing something totally different. So maybe it like tumbles in like so. Stop is kind of like cool. Um, bounce, all these different options you can do. So like I said, I wouldn't get too carried away with animations. Let's do the wipe here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right, so yeah. So let's say you can add you can add animations to your or to your 
your text, even your images, you can do that. So if you want to bring in just any kind of image you want, like this Coca-Cola, you can bring it in, change the size of it. If you want it to make it kind of transparent a little bit like that, if you want, like again, you can change the colors of it, of your Coke can here. So if I don't want it to be red, I want it to be, you know, blue or whatever. So many things you can do, make it yellow, I don't know. Do whatever you want to do. So, so the colors up here are the colors you see in the in the uh, image here. So, if you want to change the top of the can, you can do that too. Um, you can also animate it. Kind of make it slowly move around, raise up, tumble in. That's kind of neat. So yeah, you can do all all different. Just go crazy with this thing. Anyway, I just wanted to show you all y'all can do that as well. I forgot to put that in my original video, so I had to come back and like splice this in. And then also what you can do is you can add, look for some elements. If you want to add some, you know, some images, just do a search. I'm going to do a search for drone, animated drone. I'm going to add this so you can add animations or animated images into your your work here. So you can also um, you can bring that forward if you want to bring your drone or your image in front of over the top of your text. If you want to bring it underneath the text, you just click and go to arrange here so you can bring it forward, backward, bring to front. So now it covers over the top of your font. Or you can right click again, we can send it to the back. So it's underneath like that. Um, what else can you do? Uh, you, can do you can search for whatever kind of images you want to kind of fancy it up. If you want to make like, let's look for a skyline. City skyline, oh, this is a nice one. You can bring that in also so you can barely see this skyline so I can click on with this color swatch here and I can make this white now it kind of stands out a little bit more you can kind of stretch this out I wish this one had one on the side where you could stretch it to the side but we have to grab a corner and the kind of scales proportionally but we can bring this down a little bit you can also change the transparency here it's gonna bring it down a little bit where it doesn't like take over and then again we can arrange we can send this backward send to the back like so so it looks pretty good actually so there's so many things you can do to kind of add images fonts I wouldn't get too carried away with the animation but it's whatever you like. Um, and then once you have it finished like you want it, you can go to share. And where you see download here, I'm gonna make this a GIF file for Schoology. And then also you probably wanna, you wanna give it a name up here. So I'm gonna name my engineering design to, let's call it new. Also, once you have one that you like, you can you can click on this where it says duplicate page. And so you, you, you're probably going to have more classes than one, right? So you can just kind of start with one you already had and just kind of edit these. So you'll have all your your class, school, G, course, images kind of all in this one kind of portfolio kind of file here. But so uh, I was trying to show you how to save this. So or yeah, I'm going to share it. I'm going to download it. We am going to download it as a GIF file. So, and then it says, which, which do you want to save? So I just want to save this first one. So it's page one. So click this down arrow. I don't want to save page two right now. So I have page one check. Then you click on done. Then you click download. It's going to download to your computer. Kind of wait for it. 
It may take a little while. I might grab a snack first and come back. But oh, sorry. So it's downloaded it. Then I would go to my Schoology here. And then I'm going to, let's say I want to click it on. I really like this one here, but you can just edit picture, attach file, go to your new image that you made, click open, wait for it to load. There it is. And then we're going to hit the X. So now you can kind of see what it is. So if we go to groups or courses, I'm sorry, courses, it'll take a little while to load up here. And hope, yeah, hopefully, oh, we almost got that perfect. So you might have to kind of go back in a few times if your text is like too high or too low, but it really depends on what kind of what they're looking at school on. So whether it's an iPad or a Chromebook or what you know the their cell phone it's, it's what they see here is going to be different so but that's kind of how you do it so i thought that was kind of neat and i wanted to share that with y'all so hopefully you like it i like canva a lot so again i don't work for them i don't get paid for it but i mean if, you, if canva sees this and they want to pay me for like helping advertise their uh their stuff you know i'd be more than happy to accept some some donations anyway all right hope that helps peace out